Breaking in stocks. One just broke. One does say garage. One's still there. What's up guys? Today we're doing an operator guy on how to play as Solus or Solis in uh, Rainbow Six Siege 2024. We're talking all about Solus and how to use your gadget, the sensor, as well as fragging out, roaming around, and uh, basically winning more matches while playing Solis. Let's go to the loadout, shall we? Do the P90. Uh, well, doesn't have a uh, magnified scope, but flash hider, laser, and just a 1x, more than fine. 22 fire rate. You were firing off so many bullets with the 970 fire rate and honestly doesn't have that much recoil with 50 bullets as an smg you are popping heads you the shotgun the ita shotgun shotguns are definitely a little bit worse in the current meta uh with this current season update with lasers not really influencing your hit your hit fire or like your spread so shotgun is a little bit hit and miss but it can be good with Solus because you can use it to deny plants and make, you know, make rotates and everything. Especially when you pair it with the SMG-11, which is a, always a good secondary. Flash hider, hollow, vertical grip. I mean, honestly, when they have the P90 and the SMG-11, I don't really end up using the SMG-11. But if I use the shotgun, I would use the SMG-11 for most of my firefights. Using the shotgun for more like util things or in a close range fight. That combo can be good. Most of the time, I'm going to be focused on the P90 SMG11 combo because I'm using Solus more of a roamer on the fly running around. So, and then you have impacts and bulletproof cams. This is one of those operators that I would say always bring impacts. You are making plays. You need those impacts for those lines of sight that you may need to make on the fly, which we'll go through later. Now, let's talk about Solus' ability the Spec IO Electro Sensor. You can see enemy drones and other people on their cameras. Uh, through the walls up to like about 20 to 24 meters. So you can deny enemy intel throughout the round. In the bottom right, you'll see how fast it comes back. And you can find the drones just like that. Boom, there's one drone. You can spot them as well like that. If you're trying to go for like a wall bang or something with a not moving, that does use the entire bar. So do be careful with that. But why that's good is that you can use that to like do runouts and whatever because you can see when people are on their drones you won't be able to see drones if no one's actively on that util though which uh can be an issue but there's tons of different types of operators that you're going to be able to see uh through the wall with your sensor because of the, the way that their ability works which we'll go through really quick all right there's a lot of operators that souls can see this is why like in pro league you'll see people run around with blitz with a shield on their back before they go to the spot where they're actually going to push through because Solus is going to be able to see Blitz the entire time when his shield is in front of him. And again, with any active ability you, as Solus, you will be able to see that operator like Jackal with your scanners on your face. You'll be able to see them. When IQ is using her scanner, you'll be able to see her. Or any, and basically any operator that is using a gadget in any capacity is going to be able to be seen by Solus through the wall. So you do need to be careful if you are using gadgetry or you know like you're an iq or a jackal running around going after a solace you will be seen so just just be careful on that because solos i mean you, you quick quick turn your scanner on and then you can just turn it off for the fights so you can also see like you know gadgetry that's placed down like thermite or fuse let's say and when they place down their ability you'll be able to see that ability through the wall and you're going to be able to mark to your team when, where that's going down and this applies to the diffuser as well. You'll be able to see when someone is going for a plant, you'll be able to see the diffuser through the floor or the wall. And you can, that's why I highly suggest bringing impact grenades because in situations like that, if you don't have a shotgun impacts, you impact where the diffuser's at, it's gonna hurt them by 60 damage and all it takes is a couple more shots and you're going to take that person down, denying the plant. You'll, you will be able to see where the diffuser is at at that point. When it's in someone's pocket, you won't be able to see it until they're planting though. All right, now let's get to some Solus gameplay, shall we? So here, playing on border door. I run out because I hear them pushing up. I know there's no one out there. P90, bro. Super fast ADS speed, and it shoots a lot of bullets. So then I hear that someone is pushing through break. Still haven't reloaded. 
Boom, take him down. Next round, so here, the game is getting canceled, but you know, we're gonna just really play into the what's happening with the solo. So I see someone droning outside. He's joining around, so I throw an impact outside and run out because you could clearly see him clear his day on his drone there. And then we do take him down. So now we're back on Villa. Here in place to Claymore to the right. The impact and destroying his util. I hurt him a little bit with a P90 spray. I wait for the wait for him to spray out more. I throw an impact where he's going to go just to kind of shell shock him and hurt him even just a little bit more. Then I run out with a P90 spray. And we take him down. I rotate down the staircase now. So we hear multiple of them. Take down one. And here I'm getting shot in the side. Not a firefight I should ever win, but P90, baby. So here Deimos is scanning me and he jumps in the window, hit him with an impact and just shoot him dead. So here, I wasn't sure where this last guy was, but we do see a Claymore outside K9, which kind of lets me know that the enemy is probably still on K9 balcony or rotating around from K9 balcony. I know he feels safe. That's why I'm checking to the right. I'm like, okay, he's not there. So he might be outside K9. We get a quick glance, just doing a little quick peek. We change positions when we go for the peek and uh, take him down. So one thing I love about Solus is like rat roaming, basically hiding somewhere on the map, waiting for the attackers to push by and then rotating on them. And the reason why I like doing this is Solus because I can see what drones are using that would be able to see me. So I know if, I, if they know I'm there or not. So I know there's no one seeing me. They have no idea I'm coming. I rotate over. I troll a little bit. I missed the <laughs> And we just hit fire him down. And this is one of the things I love the most about the P90 is you just have so many bullets. I haven't reloaded here yet. I guess someone running through Z and we just horizontal swipe, take him down. So now we're on clubhouse. I hear someone get on the rappel here. So I run over. You can see the top of his head right there. So I shoot at where his head's going to be, and it does end up killing him. Got one. Now we're back on border. Prox alarm. We take him down. You know what to do. We hear an IQ shooting our gadgetry. I rotate down. Yeah. We find the kill there. Lots of outside break door. He's lit. Hit him with an impact, and we finish him off. Simple enough. So there was an Ayana at the bottom of this white staircase that I saw droning. He used an Ayana clone, right? But wait a second, I don't see the clone. I don't see anyone on their clone. So I know this guy instantly is pushing up. That was a fake clone. So I stop, get ready for a fight, and we do win it. Just like that. Solus, you basically just control all types of intel on your on the enemy team. Like if you're being seen, if you're being spotted, you you're going to be able to figure out where that intel is at, especially on bigger maps like consulate or bank. Be able to find those drones, making it so they just have to kind of crouch walk around, making it really annoying for the attackers to have to push through. And uh, here, I'm on clubhouse. I'm hiding in the strip club. We clearly see the drone drive by, so I waited out. I hear him close up the gap to drone more and uh, poor little Grim here goes down. Guy jumps in billiards. We take him down as well. I hear one to my right, but I also know there's one in kitchen holding me. So I throw an impact at the wall to distract the guy at kitchen so he doesn't push up to go to the bar door. We deal with the guy to our right. And then we deal with the guy in kitchen without really anybody really shooting at me. So here, I hear the guy flip off of his camera outside garage door. So I walk in, we take him down. Rotate around. Guy starts to open up the door here. Hear him on his drone. Open the door, try to take a firefight. I throw an impact at the Claymore. I rotate around to the strip club, and yeah, this is gonna be all she wrote for these two guys. Taking them both down just like that. Final guy dropped Lodgy Hatch, and uh, this is not a situation that's gonna be good for him. 
Yeah, and he goes down instantly. Solos is just a really good operator when it comes to just intel management and pure aggression. You have an amazing gun that you can fight at anyone at any range going for those headshots because you have so many bullets and you shoot them so fast. And the impact's definitely another little layer of like, you know, just quick line of sight for more complexity sake. Super good. You don't always have to use a scanner. Most of the time I'm using the scanner at the start of the round just to destroy as many early drones as I physically can. And then throughout the round, when I feel like I'm safe, I will walk around and use the uh, scanner to find enemy drones to see what they're actually watching, what they're actively droning. But you're not gonna do that all the time. You are gonna just do it like here and there because again, when you're using the scanner, you cannot defend yourself. You do need to be very careful when you are using that scanner. That is it today on how to play as Solis in Rainbow Six Siege. Basically one of the best roamers in the game because like Vigil, Vigil stops Intel on you by you know using his shield. Solis destroys the enemy intel in the first place like bit like with vigil like yeah you can still like you know won't be fully seen by drones but solace you can find the drones that are actually being used destroy them early and even throughout the round you can destroy drones forcing the attackers to have to take unfavorable potential firefights this is why solace is a really good roamer because you can destroy all intel pretty quickly reposition and engage an attacker that's walking through with no intel so Solus is a really strong operator. That's why in the future, we're probably going to see a Solus nerf, but right now she's definitely one of the strongest operators in the game. And that's it for today. Make sure to subscribe, drop a comment, and leave a like down below for more. Let me know what operator you guys want to see next time. Peace out.